Uh, what's up guys welcome back today I wanted to do a little video just kind of going over what's in my camera bag and just some of the gear I use you know I get I get a lot of questions kind of on what camera I use you know what gear you using what what lens are you using for this what mic yada 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 so I thought I'd just kind of cover that and, and show you what's in my camera bag I'm not gonna go over all my camera gear I'm kind of just gonna show you guys what stays in this bag and you know when I go out on a, on a daily basis to shoot what I bring with me um, there's there's other things that I have like the glide cam, you know, certain tripods, lights, and all that that I'll take for bigger shoots, shoots that need that extra detail, that that attention to lighting and everything. I'm not gonna show you guys all that. I just kind of want to show you, um, basically, yeah, what's in what's in this bag. But yeah, without further ado, um, let's just dive right into it. I know the main question I get from everyone is, what camera do you use? And unfortunately, so usually that camera is in this bag. But for the sake of the video, I actually just sold my old camera, so I don't have another camera to kind of shoot this but I'll show you guys. Hopefully my phone doesn't die. I'll take a video like this, and you guys can see what camera I'm using. That is, oh, and phone died. Sweet. But anyways, if that's saved, I'm using the Sony a7 III with a 28 to 70 millimeter lens on it. It's it's just a kit lens. You know, that's all I could afford when I, when I got it back in October. But the camera itself, the body is an absolute beast. You know, the lens is okay, but you really got to have like really good lighting, you know, middle of the day, golden hour kind of look. Uh, this lens really struggles when it gets it to low light. But with the full frame sensor, you know, I can shoot pretty well in low light when, when I'm at 4K, like 24 frames a second. So that's the camera I use. I'll probably make a separate video going over kind of my settings of the camera and, and what that looks like. And um, in case any of you guys use Sony uh, or even care about all that, but anyways. <clears throat> the other ones I have, which I, I, is not mine actually, I'm borrowing it from a friend, but it is just this uh, 50 millimeter 1.8, f1.8, I think it's a Sony lens. Yeah, it's a Sony lens. But yeah, so it's a uh, 50 millimeter f1.8. This uh, doesn't have the internal stabilization, like optical stabilization, like that one does, or the other like G Master lenses. But for stills, this is my favorite lens. It has such a low aperture, so low light looks really good and you get a really good bokeh look. Um, if you guys know what that means or what that looks like. So this this lens is awesome. I love filming with this lens, especially for interviews, for stills. Like if I'm on a tripod, I'm definitely using this if it's going to be a setup shot. Like I said, you can get really good bokeh, get that really deep depth of field or depth of view, whatever you call it. Awesome lens. This is my buddy Alex's. I, I definitely want to get my own soon. Um, Alex, if you're watching this, shout out to you. This thing's a beast. And you're probably gonna text me because I haven't given it back to you yet. Mic-wise, I have a mic up there that I rented from uh, the school. It's like a road mic, but this is just a, it's what I use for all my videos for the most part. Tackstar SGC. This is a $40 mic on eBay that I got, and I actually got it like three or four years ago. And then I got a road mic, which actually broke, so I still had this and started using it again, and it works fine, um, especially with doing a little bit of adjustment and post. It sounds great. If you've seen some of the videos, you you know you've heard most of the audios from this, so it sounds pretty good in my opinion. And then always gotta have the dead cat in case there's a lot of wind. For those guys who don't know, this is just you put on the microphone if you're in windy conditions, and it it blocks out the wind. So down in Charleston, we just did a red fishing trip. And they use this dead cat, and there's no wind in the in the audio, which is awesome. I also got one of these uh, cloths. This is good for cleaning your lenses. It's an old Sun Cloud glasses case or glasses cleaner so this is great always have one of these uh bad boys on ya um let's see so then i got a bunch of batteries that i keep in here I, it's just a waterproof little, little case and that's where i put all my batteries and then i have in here like my my chargers all all in here for um for my batteries i have like two of these and and two of these cords so i have like five batteries for the sony and I got a bunch of batteries before we did our Hazel Creek trip back in uh, March uh, just because I don't have any solar power energy chargers so I just had to plan ahead and bring a lot of batteries that were fully charged so I, had, I have plenty on batteries and on that topic batteries so my old camera had a Nikon and this Sony now the batteries are incredible how long they can last and I, I can go like a full day of shooting and really use only like two batteries which is awesome so yeah that's that it's a great part of the Sony then I got one of these bad boys. Um, this is a Zoom H1, I believe. Yeah, Zoom H1. So this is what I use for most interviews and really to get like any sound bits out there. Um, what you can do, um, I learned this from my buddy Bryant. 
heat we were doing this up in New Hampshire but you just put one of these dead cats over it or you can put in those little black foam things like this um, and you can get some pretty good you know audio if you want to put in the boat or you, you want to just get some you know sound of the river or something um, you, this is a good way to do it but yeah this thing's awesome uh, you just plug one side you plug your headphones in the other side you plug the mic in you have the lav mic go up clip it on and this can be in their pocket or whatever if I'm not using like a wireless lav mic so yeah this thing's sweet Let's see all right fun stuff everyone likes drones right so uh, this is my drone I, I just got this recently probably yeah, like probably like two months ago and this is the DJI Mavic Pro the first one and this is a killer drone I get you know I, I shoot 4k and the best thing that, that I like about this is I can fit it in my camera backpack without a problem I mean it's it's so slender you just pop the wings out and then there you got your drone super easy to carry I mean if I wanted I could put this in my fishing pack if I'm going out and I want to pack light so this thing's awesome big shout out to DJI for making such a slender little product I don't know much about the, the Mavic 2 uh, I know it's it's pretty similar and it's got some other cool features to it but for me this works and I don't see a need to, to upgrade really also I just bought it so <laughs> definitely shouldn't upgrade <laughs> but if you notice I got I think I got them in here these polar pro filters these ND filters uh, so when I'm shooting like direct sunlight and it's like really bright out I'll put these on it's got an ND4 ND8 and ND16 if any of you guys know what that means and that's just like the level of ND filter but these are killer to put on when I'm shooting in direct sunlight and I also keep that shutter speed at at 1 over 50 which whenever I'm shooting in 24 frames a second I, I'm trying to shoot in 1 over 50 uh, shutter speed just to keep it you know the most cinematic looking but yeah I love this thing I, ha I wasn't using this as much and you know I definitely wanted to start using it so brought it back out for the red fishing trip last week and really started kind of implementing it more and I really want to implement this more into our weekly videos and everything so that's what we got here and then I got my controller in this middle section right here which is pretty slick put that back just pop this open plug your phone in antennas come up and uh, and you're good to go something like that but yeah this, it's a slick little controller the whole system of it is awesome just so I can pack it in real tight because what I was noticing I used to have the Karma which was a good drone and I, I like shooting off the GoPro but the only downside was I had to carry basically another backpack that was even bigger than this and it just didn't make sense for a lot of the stuff that we do which is run and gun. Just, you're constantly moving from place to place. You, you can't really bring a lot of gear. So let's see what else do I have in here. <clears throat> I've got my ND filters and polarizers. I got one over there for my, uh, for my Sony right here. And those are good for again direct sunlight keeping your shutter speed low, aperture, you know, kind of the whole deal. Got a GoPro in here. This is my buddy Cooks. He just let me use it. I just sold my GoPro and drone. So I either am going to upgrade soon to get the 7 or just keep using this little bad boy. Cook loves me. <laughs> so that's the GoPro. Only have one battery, unfortunately, for that. You know, I, I, I want to use this more. I, I, I just tend to, I always have the Sony out, and so it's just, it doesn't make sense a lot of times. But I do want to use this more for kind of underwater stuff and, and whatnot. But if you're just getting into this whole video thing and you want a really good starter camera, GoPros are incredible. Uh, this is what I this is one of my first cameras, not this exact one, one of the older versions. But I got a GoPro and used the hell out of it. I learned how to use all the features and really for any any of you guys trying to get into to, to video, you know, as a hobby, as as something you you know you'd hopefully want to do as a career or something like that, you don't worry so much about having needing to have the nicest gear. Because I, I get a lot of questions about, you know, what camera are you using, man? Like, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, I think a lot of people overestimate the, the value of having an, a nicer camera and, and underestimate the value of, of a good story and a good, good storyteller. So if you're looking to just get into to filmmaking or, or anything, photography or whatever, um, trust me, don't feel like you got to break the bank right away. Get something entry level. Get an entry level DSLR. Get a GoPro. Learn the settings. Learn how to use it. Understand the camera. Kind of understand why you're changing certain settings or why it looks like this, why it looks like that. Which frame rates do I shoot in for slow motion? Which frame rates you know, do I want to render in? So you know, figure all that out before you really worry about getting the super nice camera because trust me, I've seen plenty of videos that have really good quality, but I'm just not that impressed, honestly, because there's not a good story to it or it's just a bunch of good footage with music and 
um, there's really no point to it, you know? So that's my two cents on that. So yeah, that's just, you know, that's my word of advice and hope that helps you guys out, you know, getting into this and everything. It's, it's a lot of fun. So let's see what else we got in here. Um, so I got two last things, little um, spider tripod thing. This is what I'll use if I need to like vlog or anything, or um, this is really good if we're just run and gun, you can, you know, open up, you can put on a, little, a rock or something, you can, you can mount it to a tree. Except I don't trust this anymore because the legs are just so flimsy now. But this thing's pretty good to have. I need to get a new one soon because, like I said, it's so flimsy and it's falling apart. But this thing's pretty, pretty clutch. So I'll usually keep that in here or, you know, it'll just be on the camera. And then, guys, honestly, besides the camera, the number one thing that I always have in my camera bag that I think is super important is this right here, this little notebook. Um, this comes in many different shapes and sizes, but having something like this on you is is absolutely paramount It's absolutely necessary and I'll tell you kind of why and how I use it So as you can see this says may the force be with you Michael, that's not my name <laughs> uh, Where my mom used to work at they did custom printing or something like that and so they messed this one up and she's like, hey, here, like you, I know you've been trying to get one of these, so here you go. So that's how I got this. Basically what this is used for, you can see just pages and pages. I mean, I don't know if you can see that, but you know, pages and pages full of, you know, my thoughts, my ideas, to-do lists, whatnot. And the biggest thing that I was having, having, a, having trouble with back in the day is I would be laying in bed at night and I'd have all these cool ideas running through my head or I'd be, you know, out somewhere, or, you know, I'd just be around the house or something, and, uh, you know, I have all these cool ideas, but I had nowhere to put it. And yeah, I'd sometimes put in my, my notes app on my phone, but to be completely honest, there's so many things in that app, it's very hard to go back and find. I wanted this because I was just constantly having ideas, and, and I wanted somewhere to put it. So, you know, in here I have video ideas, I have, I have you know, project planning, video shoot planning, um, to-do lists, like I said, whatever. I mean, if I if I have an idea, you know, or something, I'll I'll open up a page, I'll write something here, and um, kind of just jot some ideas down or or whatnot. So this is great because before I go out, you know, to shoot, I'll I'll open up this, you know, either right before or the night before, and you know, I'll kind of put some ideas down. All right, what are we trying to look for? What kind of shots are we getting? Uh, you know, what kind of vibe do we want for the video? Um, all the above. So you know, you can get these on Amazon probably for like five, ten bucks or something. But this is absolutely crucial and very necessary for my success with staying focused and putting ideas down. So, but yeah, that's kind of just a look into what I've got in my bag and some of my gear that I use. Um, hope you guys enjoy this. And if you have any questions, feel free to to drop a comment and I'd be happy to answer it or answer it in a future video. But I'm planning on doing a video kind of going over my camera settings and maybe just some things here and there that, that I do when I'm out in the field shooting or what I'm looking for. And I also want to do a video on my workflow and like editing and, and kind of what that looks like on, on my standpoint and what I've learned over the years. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoy this. And uh, if you want to see more stuff like this, kind of go behind the scenes, seeing the gear, definitely let me know down below. Uh, and yeah, until next time, we'll see you guys later.